At Governor Kate Brown's news conference today, she also says students will still have the option to continue online only through the rest of this school year. The governor also reacted to President Biden's announcement that states should open vaccinations to all adults by May 1st. Elisa Balick was at that news conference. She joins us live from South Portland with these issues. Yeah, the problem with the president's timeline is that Oregon already has a priority list and on that list, well, not everybody is on there for scheduled for May 1st. Now, what's happened is that Oregon's plan is based on vaccine shipments that are expected and it's to have anybody 16 and older eligible for a shot, not until July. Now, so far, just about 20% of Oregonians are vaccinated, although more than half of those 75 and older have had at least one shot. Now, the governor still plans on opening up vaccine eligibility based on what she says are groups that are based on equity. We have to get our most vulnerable Oregonians vaccinated first. Obviously, our seniors, those with underlying health conditions, and our frontline workers. Now, right now, Oregon is getting 126,000 doses a week, but state health leaders today said we'll need 400,000 doses a week to get to where everybody could possibly get a first shot by May. Right now, frontline workers are not up until May 1st. Now, one change that was announced today in the line is that pregnant women will be able to start getting the COVID vaccine here in Oregon starting March 29th. Now, also underway, plans at the different schools to try and meet the governor's deadline of opening up the elementary schools by the end of the month. I asked the governor, what about waivers? Has she gotten any? What's the plan if they decide they don't want to do that based on what the teachers are saying? I'll have that coming up today at 5. Live in South Portland, Lisa Balick, Coin 6 News. Thank you, Lisa. New